Hello, Renee Flamont here. You guys, we talk a lot about the different things that the narcissist does to us. And one of the things that I get asked all the time is with everything he's done to me, why can't I just break away? Why couldn't I just walk away? I don't understand. Well, in the last uh, few weeks, we've talked about the addiction reasons you can't break away. We talk about how good you feel in love bombing and how they breadcrumb that while they're being mean to you. I want to explain, we talked about addiction, right? I want to tell you something. 100% you will break away from your narcissist if you so desire. But the thing that you have to go through to get to this place where I am now on the other side and I have clients in private coaching that are on the other side, what you have to go through to get here is the withdrawal away from your narcissist. You're not going to break away if you continue having a relationship with them regardless of what that relationship is. Well, I want to remain friends. Well, I, we have coffee once a month. Well, he's kind of in my life halfway, but I'm not a couple with him. Okay. Here's the thing, because of the ups and downs that they take you through with all of the chemicals we've discussed, because of those, you can't be in front of your narcissist and heal from them. Nope, nope, nope. Because what the narcissist will never stop trying to do is bother you, poke at you, get you riled up, or... Worse, you're broken up and they come in with a heavy love bomb during a hoover. You're coasting along nicely. You haven't talked. You think you're going to be fine. You think you've broken away. And in they come and they start again. If you keep your narcissist around you, and I'm not telling you to leave. That's very personal. But... I get asked all the time, will I break away? Because they don't see an end. They get really despondent and they do not see um, that it could ever even be possible. They can't picture themselves not feeling for this person. What we've discussed plenty is that breaking away from the narcissist absolutely has a lot to do with you finally seeing the truth of your person and accepting that truth as their truth not holding on for hope that they will change for hope that they will be the love bombing guy for hope that they will see the error of their ways for the hope that he can't possibly do that again he knows it broke me he doesn't know it broke you the way you think he knows it broke you. He didn't put himself in your shoes and feel the pain you're feeling. You've informed him. My romantic partner is he. You guys put it in your own to make the story your own. We always say that. You've informed him, right? You've informed him. Sure. Did he act like he heard you? Yup. He shook his head and everything, Renee. But they can't feel it. So they're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. Breaking away from the narcissist has a lot to do with you understanding that when that mask dropped, it's a lot of what we've discussed in the last few weeks. When that mask dropped, that is who you're seeing now. So do you want this person in front of you now that lied, cheated, whatever? That is the real person. Will you ever break away from the narcissist? Yes, when you accept them for who they are. And you make the decision whether or not that person is right for you. It's, that, it's really that simple. My narcissist, no way, was right for me. He wasn't good enough for me. To behave like that? No way. I'm way too good to have somebody treat me that way. So are you. Anybody is. Anybody is. Compassion, decency, loyalty. That is what we all deserve, I believe. So if somebody's mistreating you... And you're thinking, when will I ever break away? How come I can't break away? Okay, I'm addicted, Renee, but how do you stop it? A lot of addictions are done cold turkey. And you have to go through a withdrawal period. And now with the narcissist, the withdrawal period comes in the form of the telephone. You're staring at it. You want to call him. You're hoping he calls you. You're hoping he's going to miss you. You're hoping he's going to um, come back to you. You're hoping he's going to say something that is finally what you want to hear. Breaking away from the narcissist is letting go of all of that hope. Letting go of the hope that it's going to be what you had in mind when you were falling in love. It's not the same thing that they had in mind. 
breaking away from the narcissist has to do with you finally sitting in your own truth and saying, no, you know what? That isn't good enough for me. I don't want that. Better than being alone? Don't even. I've made enough videos on that. No, it's not. I'd rather be alone the rest of my life happy than mistreated for even one moment ever again. I will never, ever put up with that, you guys. I have broken away, not only from that narcissist, but from any future ones, because now I see clearly my eyes are open. I can spot them. We've talked a lot about that. You guys can look that up. I can spot them. I will not become ensnared by another one. Now, if one gets by, they're extra slick. They're ex extra slippery little devils, and he gets by, and he really charms me, and he has patience. I'll see the first second he devalues. I will recognize it. And I'll say, why are you doing that? That's not nice. What do you mean? Okay, bye. Breaking away from the narcissist is all in your control. Stop giving the power to the narcissist and saying it has anything to do with them. Well, he said he was going to try harder. I don't care what he says. They don't change. If you've decided in your heart that the way you're being treated is not up to the par that you want, now you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make, not family, not friends, not a therapist, I'm a personal coach with some many of these people. It's not up to any of us. It's up to you to decide, you know what? That's not good enough for me. And then you have to see the truth and then you have to deal with the withdrawal of it. You guys know I'm available for private coaching if you ever need it because it can be hard. The uh, details are in my community tab. It can be very difficult to navigate the waters of post-narcissists in the breakup space. And the beginning is when it's the worst because you're wondering, how am I ever going to feel better? I told you guys I used to do Sundays. I can make it to Sunday without talking to him. I can make it to the next Sunday. We can do anything for seven days, right? We could eat broccoli and chicken for seven days. We could do anything for seven days. Seven days. And once you go through some time, you're going to start to feel different. And you're, pardon me, you're not going to be checking your phone so much. You're going to uh, notice that the uh, rain that they have over you is starting to loosen, right? You will break away from your narcissist. But it's completely up to you to make that happen. And you want to look and see the truth of your person before you and ask yourself, do they measure up to what you thought you'd have? Think of a man that you admire or woman, you insert your own pronoun. Does your partner live up to that person that you admire? I just thought I'd mention it, you guys. Please be careful.